In this lesson, you will learn how to calculate the variance and standard deviation of a sample data set. First, we will go over the formulas and then work through this example step by step. The variance of a sample is calculated using this formula. Here, S squared represents the sample variance. XI represents each data point in the sample. X bar represents the sample mean, which is the average of the data points in the sample. N represents the sample size, which is the total number of data points in the sample. This symbol means sum up, telling us to add all the squared differences. By the way, if you've ever wondered why we divide by n minus 1 instead of n, don't worry, we'll cover that in the next video. The standard deviation of a sample is simply the square root of the sample variance. Here, s represents the sample standard deviation. So to find the standard deviation, first calculate the variance, and then take its square root. Now let's put this into action with our example. Here are the ages of five randomly selected students from a math class. We will calculate the sample variance and standard deviation for this data set. Let's start with the variance. To keep things clear, we will organize our work in a table. In the first column, list all the data points in the sample. We have 17, 15, 16, 18, and 14. In the second column, find the sample mean and write it down. In the third column, calculate the difference between each data point and the mean. In the last column, square each difference. Now the first thing to find is the sample mean. The sample mean is the sum of all data points divided by the sample size. So first, add up all the data points in the sample. Then, divide by the number of data points. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 data points. So the sample size is 5. Therefore, we divide by 5. The sum of these numbers is 80. Feel free to use a calculator if needed. 80 divided by 5 is 16. Therefore, the sample mean is 16. Now, write down 16 in the second column of the table. Next, subtract the mean from each data point. 17 minus 16 is 1. 15 minus 16 is negative 1. 16 minus 16 is 0. 18 minus 16 is 2. 14 minus 16 is negative 2. Next, square each of the differences you obtained. 1 squared is 1. Negative 1 squared is also 1. 0 squared is 0. 2 squared is 4. Negative 2 squared is also 4. Now to get this sum in the numerator, you just need to add up all the squared differences. Adding these squared differences, we get 10. Since the sample size is 5, we divide by 5 minus 1, which is 4. 10 divided by 4 is 2.5, therefore the sample variance is 2.5. Now to find the sample standard deviation, just take the square root of the sample variance. The square root of 2.5 is about 1.58 when rounded to the nearest hundredth. So the sample standard deviation is 1.58. Here is a practice problem for you to try. Pause the video, work it out on your own using the same steps we just went through, and then check your solution below. But wait, do you know why we divide by n minus 1 for samples but just n for populations? Understanding when to use the sample formula versus the population formula is super important, otherwise it's easy to make mistakes. That's exactly what we'll cover in the next video. Click the video on the screen to find out. You can also find the link in the description or the first comment.